वेलकम बैक दोस्तों सो इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव सीन सर्टेन इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स राइट सो टुडे वी विल बी डीलिंग विद द सेम इन इन द एनवायरमेंट एंड इकोलॉजी राइट सो लेट अस गो हेड एंड सी सो एज आई सेड इन द एरियर क्लास सो आई विल बी ब्रिंगिंग यू द मोस्ट फोकस एरियाज फॉर द यूपीएससी प्रीलिम्स 2020 एंड वी विल बी डीलिंग विद सर्टेन एमसीक्यूज इन द यूपीएससी फॉर्मेट सो एज वी सीन सर्टेन एमसीक्यूज राइट इन द लास्ट क्लास सो विल बी आल्सो डिस्कसिंग वेरियस टिकडम्स दैट विल बी गिविंग यू सर्टेन uh edge from compared to the other uh, candidates right so let us go ahead and uh, see the sort of topics for the day right so today also we'll, uh, we are dealing with international organizations and conventions uh today we'll be seeing about the sites and uh, there are certain kind of uh, cooperations in the environmental aspect there is the south south and triangle cooperation we'll be see, dealing with the basel ban amendment and uh, we will be seeing uh, with the ipcc uh, special reports uh, that are recently in news we'll be dealing with the world and uh, energy council and kigali amendment to the montreal protocol okay so let us see one by one so the first topic is sites so there was a recent uh, washington uh, washington convention in the sites so in in this convention uh, what happened is uh, there was a resolution for the japan and eu so to close their domestic ivory markets so however this was not adopted why this is important because uh, it is continuously providing opportunities for the criminal syndicates to traf- uh, to traffic ivory right so this is was in the current affairs so let us go, uh, see uh, certain uh, basics of this so sites it has its inception in iucn iucn you know stands for uh, international union conservation of uh, of nature right so sites is a legally binding one right so it's a legally binding uh, agreement however uh so so it's a, it is up to uh, the particular nations whether they can take it as a domestic legislation or not however it is legally binding so and what does its sites exactly do so see uh, what does sites stands for uh, it is a convention on international trade in endangered species so it restricts the trade of these endangered species which is flo- it might be flora or a fauna right so this this is administered by unep now let us go ahead and see uh, some uh, uh, previous mcqs regarding the same so in 2015 there was a question so here you see uh, let, let me uh, uh, read you the question with reference to the iucn and sites which of the following statements are correct so the first first statement say iucn is an organ of united nations while uh, sites is an interna- international agreement between the gor- uh, between the governments right so the second one says iucn runs thousands of field projects around the world to better manage natural environments okay this might, this is very much close and yeah it's true and uh, and the third third statement says sites is legally binding on the states legally binding on the states but this convention does not take the place of national laws okay it's not like a overriding thing so it is not like a overriding thing so however see now we have to consider the first one first option here uh, so iucn is an organ of united nations see uh, as i mentioned earlier so here upsc again tend to uh, is, is asking you about the nature nature of the organization right so here it is the same thing so iucn is not an organ of united nations right okay so obviously this statement is wrong so luckily if we see the options here uh, if one is wrong we have only one option 2 and 3 right so whenever you are doing revision um, again telling you please focus on the nature on the kind of nature of that organization right so obviously we have seen that uh, yes site is a legally binding however it does not uh, not necessarily take uh, take, take place uh, in uh, nat- in the in, in place of na- uh, national laws right so similar there was another question in 2011 so this is regarding the red data books of the iucn so this is the kind of extension uh, uh, information i'm giving uh, about the iucn so in this uh, uh, in this uh, we have we have three uh, statements here it says endemic plant and animal species present in the biodiversity hotspot so uh, what does this contain uh, this contain this is contains the endemic uh, flora and fauna okay and second one says threatened plant and animal species okay this is also seems to be fine but the see, see the third option it says the sites so uh, protected sites for conservation of nature and natural 
resources in various countries. So this is not true. Okay. So red data books it generally con uh, contains uh, about the flora and fauna which are which are the endangered species. So obviously this is like a this is like uh, examiner voluntarily, voluntarily uh, pushing you uh, like pushing you some kind of information here which is not true. Okay. So obviously three is wrong. If we see if if we eliminate all three, there is only one option that is two only. So now let us see one uh, practice MCQ here. Uh, so which among the following statements are true regarding the wildlife? So this is also a little more information uh, you need to note down. So it's, uh, there is one international consortium on co combating wild, uh, wildlife crime. So uh, what is it? Uh, the statement one says it is a collaboration between the five intergovernmental organizations that is the sites, Interpol and UNODC that stands for United Nation Office on Drugs and Crime. Here it is, right? okay? And World Bank and World Customs Organization. Okay, so if you see this, this, state, uh, this statement is right. Okay, so the second statement says uh, the uh, World Wildlife Crime Report 2020 uh, is, uh, is released by sites. Sorry, is released by uh, sites. Okay, and the th third statement says. Uh, United Nation Office on Drugs and Crime lists species uh, and are grouped in uh, appendices uh, according to how they are threatened uh, in, of inter in, in the context of international trade. See what happened is UPSC generally what does what does it do? If you see uh, certain, there are certain MCQs in which they tend to change two options interchange. Like see, actually what happened is the uh, UNODC is the one which publishes. World Wildlife Crime Report 2020. Okay, generally it, this this one publishes. While the list of the species is given by, okay, by sites, right? So uh, uh, the examiner uh, like uh, they tend to change, like the interchange the information and try to confuse you. Okay, so this uh, this kind of MCQs are there in previous questions also. If you go through, I think you might be finding these things. So these two are wrong. The first statement is right. Oh, okay. So this. this let us take this is one one only okay so uh, only the first statement is right so uh, it is about international consortium and uh, combating wildlife crime okay so let us see the next topic so this is regarding the uh, cooperations uh, see generally uh, almost uh, from particular to two to three years they are asking about certain kind of alliances or certain kind of cooperation that have been formed uh, in the context of environment or protecting the ecology right so these two are in news recently so recently there was a dialogue that happened in new delhi right so what uh, but what what are these cooperations south south cooperation is a collaboration with, uh, among the countries of the south right of the south uh, in, in 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 political economical cultural or environmental right so this is kind of a cooperation of south south countries and there is a triangular cooperation so what does it do this is, these are generally a traditional uh, donor countries and uh, multilateral organizations that facilitate the south south initiatives right so this 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 these are nothing but the uh, like uh, these are the group that facilitate the south south initiatives it might be like funding or any kind of technological uh, sharing or uh, any kind of management oriented right or uh, skill development any kind right so let us go ahead and see one uh, uh, questions regarding same. See, in 2017, there was a question on the alliance. See, so with reference to global climate alliance, so this was this was an alliance formed by uh, European Union. So, so in this context, it is very much important to focus on these kind of areas, right? Uh, so, um, uh, uh, so, the, so it is an initiative by EU. It's, it's the first uh, first statement. The second statement is it provides technical and financial support. To the targeted developing countries uh, to, uh, to integrate climate change into their development policies and budgets right this is also true and third option is it is coordinated by world resource institute this is not true which is like voluntarily incorporated uh, yeah this, this is supported this alliance is supported by certain organizations like fao right uh, food and agriculture organizations right but not not by these these so this is wrong so only one and two is right so the next kind of is regarding the basal ban amendment so what happened is in uh, 1995 there was one amendment so uh, so uh, what what does it deal with it deals with the global waste dumping provision 
so what happening is like from the past like one or two decades there was the uh, even it is it's born of contention now uh, so it, it was like uh, so there, there was a dumping issues between the developed countries and developing countries if you see for example the most developed countries like the america uh, has been uh, uh, transferring the e waste to the uh, african countries which are which are like uh, which are still in the developing stage so this is creating uh, more uh, more and more junk in the african countries and it is leading to the environmental issue, pollution right and it leading to the degradation so what happened is uh, recently by this uh, when the corsica sorry sorry when the croatia ratified uh, this uh, uh, this in 2019 so this took place uh, as an international uh, as a part of international convention right so now this comes as a new article in this convention uh, for example uh, here i would like to bring about the uh, paris agreement where uh, minimum of uh, 55 countries need to sign right uh, which contribute to near, uh, near above the 50 to 55% of the pollution right so that there are certain criteria for any convention or any kind of uh, uh, no protocol has to come into implementation so this has come into implementation in 2019 so in this context it is very much important so what does this do this amendment says so uh, it prohibits the export of hazardous waste including the e-waste etc right so especially from the oecd to non-oecd countries so uh, so this was adopted in basel convention 1995 so this was against the hazardous waste and here you see india is not a member so this is also very much important where does india stand in, in this particular kind of conventions so please note this so in U upsc 2019 uh, there is one uh, uh, question on microbits so why i brought this question is here so what happened is in last year we, we uh, there was a basel convention established a new working group so this was in current affairs that is the plastic waste partnership working group so uh, here in this current affairs in the same article there was uh, there was uh, uh, they were dealing with the plastic weights uh, how microbeads which is the type of a plastic uh, it is contributing to the environmental degradation okay so from there we can see that simply a technical term about the technical term of microbeads has been asked so here microbeads are nothing but a type of small plastics like, yeah so these these plastics are generally used in our day-to-day -day consum uh, consumables like uh, face wash or uh, shampoos etc so which which helps in, uh, in uh, cleansing right so so obviously what happening is like uh, these my uh, microbits are going through our drains and uh, joining uh, the water system and uh, creating <clears throat> sorry creating uh, harm uh, harm to the marine ecosystem so the answer is a so uh, what i'm uh, uh, leading from here is uh, you need to focus about the little more uh, little bit technical information regarding any current affairs right so if, if uh, so if, if if it is on uh, uh, plastics or if, if 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 there was a particular topic if there are certain new terms please refer that uh, i can give one more example also Rec uh, in last year or last last year they asked about um, uh, about the e-waste like e-waste and the producer responsibility so even uh, this has come in in the mcq right so the next uh, current affairs is uh, regarding the inter intergovernmental panel on climate change okay so uh, recently uh, there was a, a working group 3 ibcc3 for the sixth assess assessment that is about to come in about to uh, come in 2022 in india so it has been hosted by the uh, moef right so uh, apart from that uh, ipcc has come up with uh, special reports that is special report and climate change and the land so this is the first time that they have come up with a uh, with a, uh, a report and particularly on the land okay so this this you remember uh, and so the uh, in that particular report uh, there this uh, they said that the global food system is uh, is almost is contributing to third one third of the or greenhouse gases right and uh, there was also another special report on the ocean and cryosphere in, uh, in changing climate so what does it say it's a, it's a saying that the, uh, there are uh, increased temperatures and there is further in, uh, ocean acidification marine uh, heat waves <clears throat> more frequency of el nino and la nina events 
okay so so these are the findings of this report so here in ocean acidification uh, don't confuse that ocean ocean acidification mean that the ph level is below 7 or or you, uh, you see that it, uh, it doesn't mean uh, it is in the category of the acid so when uh, generally when we say that if the ph level is less than 7 we, uh, we we say that is it acidic in nature so uh, so when we, when we say is ocean acidification doesn't mean uh, it is in the acid nature but it is it is coming towards the ph of less than 7 okay so still it is in uh, above 7 only so remember that right so majority of uh, students might be confusing here and uh, going a uh, little background about the ibcc it is set up by the wmo and unep in 19, 1988 right so what does it do it gives the regular assessments on the scientific basis of the about the climate change so th- this report is used by uh, unfccc and uh, what steps we, we need to be taken so this is like a input for the governments and uh, various stakeholders how we need uh, we need to act for the climate action right so there is one uh, practice mcq so uh, see here which among the following statements are true regarding the ipcc it is a scientific panel conducts its own research to publish assessment okay and the second one says it is established by unfcc c the first statement said is a scientific panel okay so far it is fine it conducts its own research this is not true so so this statement is direct i have taken the statement and changed uh, directly from the ipcc uh, you know website so it clearly mentions there that it does not con- uh, no conduct any own research what does it do it takes the published reports and from there it makes the assessment report right and gives to uh, various stakeholders right to the governments or to the at, at an international forum right <clears throat> and second one says it is established by unfcc no we have just seen that it is by unep and uh, world meteorological organization right <clears throat> so the option is none here so the, the next kind of is regarding the world energy council so this was set up in 1923 it is a un accredited <clears throat> global energy body so it it has more than 3000 members it has it has like various stakeholders it has countries ngos right so many state co- cooperation companies academy anything right so it gives the publications so even this is also very much important as we, as we see in the upsc tends to ask about the reports right so it gives the uh, world energy <coughs> trilemma index what is trilemma stands for trilemma is nothing but uh, dilemma is like uh, uh, like confusion of choosing between the two right trilemma is nothing but the confusion uh, between uh, selecting uh, one from the three so it com- uh, it compares the energy security equi- <coughs> equity and environmental stability according to these factors it gives the rating country by country so remember this so it co- it's a headquarters in london and its mission is to promote sustainable supply and uh, use of energy for greater benefit of all people okay so we have uh, so here one uh, i have given one mcq so re- consider the following statements regarding the world energy council so being a uni- uh, un agency it has member countries from un the member countries of un are also part of un it is saying this statement is saying that okay the second statement is saying it it helps energy transition and aims to promote the sustainable supply and use of energy for greater benefit of all people yeah we have seen this so the sec- second statement is true now consider this first statement here it is saying it is a un agency so you think this is true no see see what i have said uh, what i have told is it is a un accredited right so but it is not an un agency uh, like uh, Uh, like uh, who or any other organization it's not a un agency so, so again on the nature of organization okay so this is not this is wrong only two is right so the next current affairs is regarding the kigali amendment to the monte protocol so this came into force in 2019 okay so uh, what is its objective this objective is to uh, phase out the hfcs uh, which is uh, which is a uh, potent climate changing gas okay so like kind of <clears throat> greenhouse gas so why because to avoid the uh, up to 0.4 of the uh, global temperature rise so it, it, it is like we are in line with the 
objectives of the uh, Paris Agreement and continuously protecting the ozone layer. Sorry. So, what is the uh, Indus contribution here to reduce 87 percent by 2047 uh, and base year is 2024-26. So, now see uh, there is specific to India. What does that mean? But that means that there is equal but differential responsibility, right? Um, and uh, so, a little bit background about this. So, this is amendment is uh, to the Montreal Protocol. So, Montreal Protocol has its origin in origin in uh, Vienna Convention in 1985. So, it is a most successful protocol according to United Nations and it has a universal ratification mean all members of United Nations has ratified. This is an only convention that is ratified by the all the people, right? All the sorry, all the member countries. And it is a and there is a multilateral fund to, to implement this protocol. So, because of this multilateral protocol, there has been a proper uh, assistance for the developing nations uh, to implement this. So, this, this point uh, might be uh, helping you in uh, mains also. So, if there is that kind of uh, mechanism, that kind of right assistance uh, for any convention or the protocol say, so uh, that will be uh, like, that, that, will be, that will be giving you more results like it is the most su successful protocol, right? So, one practice MCQ here, consider the following statements with respect to the Montreal Protocol. The first statement says, Kigali Amendment is the first amendment to the Montreal Protocol. Kigali Amendment is legally binding with equal efforts from the member countries. It is saying the first amendment, this is the equal efforts. And the third statement says, mainly aimed at further reducing the impact of, <coughs> impact of, uh, impact on the uh, ozone layer by HFCs. Now, uh, see one by one. It is saying the first amendment. Uh, this is not true because there, there are many amendments to the monetary protocol to include the other gases, right? So, this is not. Generally, you see, uh, when when uh, when this kind of statement is like too much factual is, uh, statement is given in options uh, in, uh, in, uh, in UPMCQs, generally they turn they, they don't not to be like uh, true, right? but not universally applicable, but be conscious about these kind of options. Now, the second statement is said is legally binding with equal efforts. We have just seen that India <coughs> and other developing countries are following equal but differential responsibilities. So, this statement is also true. Sorry, wrong. This statement is wrong. This, uh, this statement is also wrong. And third one is Kigali Amendment is mainly focusing on reducing the impact on ozone layer. So, see here this statement is not true because it is not mainly on the impact of uh, ozone layer but this is focusing on reducing the greenhouse impact of the hfcs okay so this is also wrong so that's the reason i use the word mainly so none, none is the answer so we have seen that uh, we have uh, we have seen the certain uh, important important uh, focus areas of the international conventions right we also seen like how to think like a uh, examiner like see they voluntarily giving certain kind of options or the interchanging between the options we have seen one tick like how how they interchange the options right in the statements in statements and we also de uh, dealt with certain uh, UPSC format uh, questions right so going ahead uh, we'll be dealing with a similar kind of tick and also important uh, concepts right so till then uh, st uh, stay safe right have a good day bye